This is module five, lesson five, homework, side two. Number two, the figure is divided into six parts. Are they sixths? Explain your answer. As we learned about in class, fractions need to be divided into equal parts. When I look at the picture on number two, I can see that these two parts are bigger than these parts on the side, and they're also bigger than these parts. So these are not equal parts. Are they sixths? Well, no. They are not sixths because They are not equal parts. Fractions can only be named when they are divided into equal parts. Number three, Terry and his three friends baked a pizza during his sleepover. They want to share the pizza equally. Show how Terry can slice the pizza so that he and his three friends can each get an equal amount with none left over. This is a problem that we have practiced and had in class many times before. When you look at this problem, you see that it is Terry and his three friends who are sharing the pizza equally. Pay attention to how many people are sharing the pizza. After you have determined how many people are sharing the pizza, draw lines to partition the circle into equal parts to show how much of the pizza each friend will get. Number four, draw two identical rectangles. Shade one seventh of the rectangle, of one rectangle, and one tenth of the other. Label the unit fractions. Use your rectangles to explain why one seventh is greater than one tenth. So to start, I need to draw two identical rectangles. I'm going to draw long, skinny rectangles so I give myself room on the other side to write my explanation. Next, I need to shade one seventh, and then I need to shade one tenth. So in my first rectangle, I need to divide it into seven equal parts. And then in my second rectangle, I need to divide it into 10 equal parts. To start that, I'm going to divide it into fifths. And then I'm going to divide my fifths in half. And there's my tenths. Next, I'm going to shade one seventh and one tenth. It then tells me that I need to label my unit fractions. Unit fraction is, is words, so this is one seventh, and this is one tenth. Last, I am being asked to use the rectangles to explain why one seventh is larger than one tenth. Use these two pictures and look at the part that was shaded carefully. Discuss with your parents or whoever you're watching the video with why one seventh is bigger than one tenth. Then explain in words on your paper 
y one seventh is greater than one tenth.